finally off to Japan and finally flying this unique airline. We're off to Tokyo with Zip Air. This is a budget airline with a difference. Join me as I fly one of their beautiful 787s and experience their new basic airline concept. Flat bed seats up front, but economy service. You still have to pay for all your meals and bags, so how does this quirky airline, a subsidiary of one world giant Japan Airlines, stack up against the big legacy carriers? I'm going to check out the prices, seat, service, food, and dig into some free Wi-Fi and give you the lowdown on Zip Air. I'll be flying over 5,000 miles and 12 hours from San Jose in California to Tokyo Narita as we zip from the USA to Japan at 40,000 feet. Come with me and let's get cracking. Zip Air flies a few routes from the west coast of the US, as well as Los Angeles and San Francisco. This route from San Jose links California's tech hub with Tokyo, and I'm nice and early for check-in today. Zip Air doesn't operate priority check-in or priority boarding, but it's still a quick process and my bag is soon dropped off and I've got time to explore. So one of the things you'll definitely want to know before booking Zip Air from San Jose is, although they check in in Terminal B, the flight actually departs from Terminal A and it is quite a walk to get there. It's over half a mile from the check-in desk. I suppose the huge terminal is good for one thing, getting those steps in. I've got 12 hours of sitting down ahead of me today. And here she is. Zip Air have just one aircraft type, the Boeing 787-8, the smallest Dreamliner variant. They have just seven of these airframes and have a new tail design. The original livery had just a Z on the tail, but they changed this after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the Z being used to identify some Russian forces. We also have the special Ron Herman livery 787 today. Ron Herman is a Californian fashion outlet and they have a partnership with Zippet to promote environmentalism. Anyway, each of Zip Air's planes will seat 272 passengers in basic economy and 18 in the flatbed section of the aircraft, which we're going to avoid calling business class because Zip Air make it really clear that's not what it is. This livery looked stunning in the flesh, really crisp and clean and so much more striking than it does in this video. Zip Air doesn't give lounge access, it's an all-economy airline, but I used my priority pass to get into the club at SJC. This is a pretty nice retreat from the main concourse. It's nice and airy, and even has a partial view of the apron outside. I'd skipped breakfast at my hotel and the option to pre-order some food and get it to the table, as well as cocktails, all for no charge, is pretty sweet. It's not often I'm one of the last people on the plane, but Zip Air does things differently. As I mentioned earlier, this is an all economy airline. There's no priority given to anyone apart from uh, families with children and people who need assistance. They simply board back to front. And that means that boarding times here are a lot quicker. Today's video is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. And this is one of the more important partnerships I've had on my channel. Now we're all familiar with the ups and downs and the stresses of everyday life, and I'm no exception. The truth is a lot of us struggle with our mental health from managing our mood swings to clinical depression to perhaps addictive behavior or something which is even more limiting. Now, whether it's something which is simply weighing on your mind and making you less happy or something which is making you less productive as a person, BetterHelp is here to help. When I was a lot younger, we're talking 15 years ago now, I had my own mental health problems. And I have to say that talking and therapy were really instrumental in me getting through that. They made me a better, happier and more capable person. And I'm not ashamed of having said that I've needed help in the past, 
and neither should you if you're struggling. The problem is a good therapist is really hard to access, especially if you're new to the whole idea of therapy. Sometimes it's hard to know where to turn to and it can be difficult and slow to find the right therapist for you, a person that you feel comfortable opening up to. BetterHelp is a platform which will do the hard work for you and that is so important. It will ask you questions about you and your health and it will match you with a variety of different qualified professionals. I've tried it. It took me about an hour to be matched with somebody and after three days I had half a dozen therapists all on a shortlist and I could pick the one that suited me and my personality best. Each therapist has their own specialisms and you can read their biography and professional qualifications before you reach out to them so you can be pretty sure they're the right person for you. There are also group therapy sessions and classes as well available on BetterHelp if that's more your sort of thing. If you're struggling, consider therapy with BetterHelp. Click betterhelp.com forward slash winging it for a 10% discount on your first month of therapy with a credentialed professional specific to your needs. And thanks again to BetterHelp for the partnership. Now let's get back and board that plane. Finally off to Japan and finally flying this unique airline. We're off to Tokyo with Zip Air. Hello. Thank you. There are just 18 flatbed seats in this fairly small front cabin, each one with direct aisle access and fully electric controls. I'm in the last row, 5K, and boy does it feel strange to be just about the last person on board. These reverse herringbone seats will look familiar, but there is one major difference. There's no TV and it just looks weird, doesn't it? San Jose has some pretty tight airspace and this climbing spiral departure path is always a thrill. You get incredible views of the airfield and if you keep your eyes peeled long enough, you might see something else take off. Huge bonus here, Zip Air has free Wi-Fi for all passengers. I did notice a few blank spots in coverage over the Pacific, but otherwise this worked fine for sending tweets and general browsing. That's not bad at all. You've got to love some free Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how the fares work. Zip Air has no business class, but does have a separate fare bucket for flat bed accommodation. You can see the fare difference in their best fare finder. It's on average about three times the price of a basic economy, and one-way fares at about a thousand US dollars for the flatbed are still less than half the price of proper business class on legacy airlines flying from the US to Japan. You do also have to buy bundles, just like any other low-cost carrier, if you want things like baggage allowance and meals. No, not even the food is included, but I found these reasonable value, although I'd be interested to see how many passengers in flatbed class don't buy any bundle at all. I went for the premium bundle at $138, which also comes with seat selection. Where do you usually prefer to sit on an aircraft?
We've all seen reverse herringbone seats before, and I have to say, other than no TV, these are really similar to most airlines business class offerings. They're just as sturdy, spacious, and private as flying a basically identical seat on KLM, for example. All the finishes are pretty basic, but you won't catch me complaining for 12 hours in this seat at this price. What a day for it. The Bay Area is such a cool place to fly over. See if you can name all of these airports in the comments section below. As we've already covered, you're required to purchase all your meals with Zip Air or buy them as part of a bundle. And my food is on the way now. The galley behind me smells absolutely delicious. I've got Korean barbecue beef on the way and I'm really looking forward to it. I made this selection during the booking process and figured it was a pretty safe option. It's basically a regular economy meal. No dessert is included, but you do get water, and this was absolutely fine for what it was. A decent 8 out of 10 for economy food. Zip Air also lets you buy on board. Everything from meals to drinks to in-flight amenities, this was a pretty great service. There are accurate stock levels, so you can see if anything has sold out, although I have to say, I've never seen female hygiene products available for sale in flight before. That's pretty cool. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that button and touch that bell and you'll be notified of all my future video uploads and join a growing community of hundreds of thousands of other trip report enthusiasts just like you. What's the highlight of a Japanese airline? Yes, the bathroom visit, of course. OK, maybe that's not entirely serious, but I don't think I've seen a more menacing warning sign than this. There are also, of course, Japanese toilets. This one is just a basic entry-level one to prepare you for the absolute plethora of personal cleansing options available when you visit the bathrooms in Tokyo's hotels and restaurants. When I was booking this flight, the Zip Air site gave me the option to purchase other things other than just my meal, and I thought, oh, this banana Kit Kat, I'll have one of those. It was pretty expensive at just $8, and it turns out I've actually bought 12 Kit Kats. My bundle included a sleeping kit with amenities, and I've got to be honest, I was not expecting much, but this blanket is surprisingly thick and heavy. The slippers genuinely comfortable. I took them home with me and still wear them. And it also includes a very soft eye mask. I was expecting something really sort of paper thin and naff, but this really exceeded expectations. The flatbed is 6 feet 4 inches long, and I reckon about 6 feet of that is usable. Absolutely fine, and just the same as proper business class on most other airlines. Very comfortable, and despite being in the last row, I was never bothered by the crew, who were actually outstanding on this flight. Anything I ordered came within literally two minutes, and they made regular passes of the cabin to check on people. I decided to order another snack after my nap. Some udon de sky, a great original name, and spicy stingray fins, because why not? I love them both, by the way. In the end, I didn't need my expensively acquired $10 backup airport sandwich. I was worried this flight would run out of food or the options would be bad, but honestly, this is an occasion where buying on board definitely made a lot more sense. Oh, and you're probably wondering about the banana Kit Kats. Well, they're unique, but you don't have to like everything you try. We are just 19 minutes away from landing in Tokyo now, and I've got to say I'm so excited to finally land in Japan and get out into the country. It's a country I've wanted to visit my whole life. I can't wait to explore. I'll be honest, I hoped for better weather for the landing. It's the end of typhoon season, and we make a bumpy approach into Narita.
So what did I think of Zip Air? Well, there aren't too many long-haul, low-cost airlines. It's hard to make this kind of setup work, but I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed flying Zip Air. This was outstanding value for a flatbed seat, and the price, onboard service, seat, free Wi-Fi, crew, and amenities all exceeded my expectations from what they like to market themselves as, the new basic airline. I really hope this venture works out because as far as I can tell, it's the cheapest and best sort of premium way to cross the Pacific, and I would definitely fly them again. This is the first of a Japan and Far East series on the channel. I got up to some amazing things in my time away, and I'm so excited to share the videos over the coming weeks and months. And yes, there's plenty of train content on the way too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.